You just have to ask yourself the question, is how bad do you really want it? What up? ユニコハートです。さあ今日は誰もが才能を持っているトム・プラッツがみんなに伝えたいこと見ていきましょう。筋トレをしていると骨格だからとか日本人の遺伝だからとかっていった言葉を耳にすることがあります。今回はそんな才能や遺伝についてトム・プラッツが話をしてくれています。例えばビッグヒデは日本人でいたことに対して不利に感じたことはないと言っていたこともあるんですがトム・プラッツは何というのでしょうか早速見ていきましょうどうぞまず、well, I think everybody has tremendous potential one of the things you have to realize is that you cannot Be a victim to your genetics. Your genetics must be a victim to you. And that was one of the thought processes that I had as a young man, as a teenager. I was not going to be a victim to my genetics. I mean, there's many bodybuilders around the world that I see that have tremendous potential, but we all have potential. You can't let anybody tell you you can't do something, not even yourself. But looking at some of the athletes that I meet on a regular basis around the world,、uh, And I'm here in Hungary, as you know, at the moment.、Uh, one、uh, bodybuilder that comes to mind is、uh, Peter Molnar. Peter Molnar,、uh, he doesn't know how good he is. He's a tremendous physique.、Uh, I don't think he really wants to be an international world champion. I think he finds great satisfaction having a sensational gym here in Hungary.、Uh, it's a small gym, and he does great work with everybody there. It's a great family. Uh, but I did tell him when I was there、uh, last year, people still, you have a lot more to give on stage yet. You're giving a lot to people in this gym. And it's tremendous what you do for your clients and for the gym members. But、uh, Peter Molnar has tremendous potential to really be sensational. I just don't know, I don't think he has the mentality to be a superstar, at least not yet. My question、uh, that I ask myself all the time when I work with people, though, I'm going to look at them, but I want to see what's inside me and them, okay? The attitude, the, the hunger, the thirst, the I'll do anything I got to do to get there attitude, regardless of talent, regardless of genetics. I look for that kind of energy within people. It's not just about saying to an upcoming champion, do this exercise for that many reps or do that exercise. It's about finding that energy in them and witnessing the energy and having my breath taken away because I see it in them. By making them aware of it and saying, go. Once I make them aware of it and they see it themselves, I just tell them and I promote and I propagate just the attitude of going. Not waiting, not waiting three years to become a champion, do it now. Accept that position in your life now. And that's one of the things I've said to Sergio many times. But of course,、uh, you know, I have many people around the world that I'm, I'm meeting on a regular basis,、uh, going to Slovakia tomorrow.、Um, there's a young man there, Roman. Who has huge potential. He was in LA with us working out for a while. I mean, there's a lot of things that go into being a champion.、Um, back in my day, I mean, I did my own diet. I didn't have somebody telling me how to diet. I did my own diet. I was my own coach. We all, we all didn't have coaches. We were our own coaches. We figured out the way to train for ourselves. We figured out the way to eat for ourselves. We established how many calories, protein, and carbohydrates, macronutrients that we should eat every day. We were in con- complete control independently of anybody on stage. And if I may say so,、uh, we have a lot of physicality. Everybody's walking on stage close to 300 pounds nowadays. But I think we need more art.、And、by art, I don't need you know, art drawings and sculpture. I mean art, the, the energy within,、uh, the energy within the athlete you know, to where they just walk on stage and they command applause from the audience. This is what Arnold taught me to do. When I was his student, okay? Everybody has talent within them. You just have to ask yourself the question is how bad do you really want it? And that's your talent. That's your most important talent. Not everybody can do that. Some of the greatest, some great champions can't do that. If you can do that, if you can ask yourself how bad do you really want it, if you want it so bad you'll do anything for it, almost close to death, <laughs> that's your talent. You don't even need talent for bodybuilding as far as genetics, but if you have that attitude, that killer instinct, if where you'll do anything it takes and everything it takes, you'll be successful, I guarantee you. When you have more questions, 
Send your questions to Old School. They will send them directly to me and I will answer them. And the last thing I have to tell you about is simply keep it old school. Bye bye. さあいかがでしたでしょうか。名言のオンパレードでしたね。どれだけ欲しいんだ。僕はこれが一番心に響きました。とにかくトムプラッツが伝えたかったことは、自分が行きたい場所に向かってできることをすべてやれば必ずそこに行けるということではないでしょうか。この道の途中で遺伝だからとか才能がないからとかって諦めてしまえばその道は閉ざされてしまいますよねもちろんボディビルの才能がある人はそこまでしなくても行けてしまうかもしれませんでもそうでない人も必要なことを全てやり抜けば可能なんだということをトムパラッツは教えてくれてるのではないでしょうかみんなはどう感じましたかコメント欄で教えてください最後まで見ていただいてありがとうございます感想や動画のリクエストチャンネル登録お待ちしてますではまた